Hi, this is Jason with Agland Co-op. Um, out taking a look at a cornfield today. Um, some things I've been noticing out in these fields that I want to share with you growers is what I'm seeing is a lot of twisted up, curled up whirls on the corn. You know, some we see a lot of crinkling here. Some other plants we see where the whirl is really buggy whipped. Um, looks like it could be a herbicide damage or a herbicide carryover, but it's actually not. What it is, is it's called rapid growth syndrome. And some of these fields that were planted early, you know, last week of April, that had some really good growth on it here, up until the last couple weeks, we've been really cool, really cloudy, and this corn has been just sitting here. You know, a lot of this corn, we're at about the V4 stage, roughly right in there. And what's happened now, since we've got some moisture, and today is actually the first day that it's been over 80 degrees in probably three weeks, this corn is really starting to take off and really starting to push. And you're going to see a lot of these whirls twisted up. Um, it's, it's not anything that's yield robbing, anything damaging. It will come out of it. It will be fine. You know, one of the aftermaths that you might see later on when this corn gets bigger up to that, say, V7, V8 stage, when this corn on whirls, you might see some pale yellow or even some white leaves out here on top of some of these corn plants. And that's basically just because uh, the plant was tied up in the whirl for so long, it lost a lot of its color, a lot of its pigment, and so you're going to see some real pale colored leaves out here. You know, like I said, it's nothing yield, yield robbing. It's just a cosmetic thing that we see from time to time when the conditions are right. Like I said, it's been cool and cloudy the last couple, three weeks. And now that we've got some heat, this corn is really starting to push now. And this is just something you're going to see out in your cornfields. And it's not going to be in every field. I don't see it quite as much in some of the later planted corn. But the corn like this here, that's quite a bit further along. Starting to see a lot more of it. Um, so it's nothing to be overly concerned about, just some information I wanted to pass along. So again, this is Jason with Agline Co-op. you got any questions or concerns, um, please give us a call. Thank you.